All right, listen up, boys. I know you all have no time, so I'll go through this in a very fast pace. Since you all hate long tutorials, you download Rewise. Yes, I'm, I'm calling it Rewise. Fuck you. <laughs> then you open it. You install it first, and then you open it. Then you can make... You can download this version right here. 2018.1.8.6, whatever. Install it here. Go all. You go there. There. Right there. Already installed. You can install it here. Then you launch Wewise. Look, it's Wewise. It's opening. You see this without the projects. So you're making a new project. You call it whatever. I, uh, I'm gonna do Godzilla. There, we don't need this. This is garbage. Okay. Wait 10 years? No license key found, whatever. You have 200 media assets, you can put in 200 sounds. If you go over that, you can, I don't know, make another sound bank, whatever. <laughs> First thing you do, actor mixer, master mixer. This is your master mixer. You put master stuff in there. Well, not really, you put another mixer in there. And you call it SFX mixer or master or whatever. You put all your sound effects in there. So I'm gonna do like, you know, like a folder, a new folder for like Godzilla Roar. Roar. There we go. You go to you go up here. Game things. States. No not states. I'm I'm dumb. Game parameters. Game parameter. Volume underscore master. There you go. Now you have RTCP for master volume. Zero to hundred. Default fifty. Default doesn't matter. <coughs> Be sure to call it the right thing. And another thing. Volume underscore big SFX. There. You now you have a volume SFX master. In 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 the master mixer, you go you click it. And you see on the right, RTPC. You click here. You go voice volume. Game parameters. Volume master. And there we go. You have a master. Now your sound goes louder and quieter. Zero is no sound and 100 is full sound. Big, big brain, right? Here, you do the same on SFX mixer. But only with the volume SFX. Be sure to do the right things or it will fuck up. Probably. Well, it won't really. But it will. Depending on what you do. Alright. So you want to import sounds. We have it basically set up. You can do anything right now. Now, get a sound. Uh, there we go. I have a sound. Put it in in whatever mixer you want, like out of city or whatever. You use. You gotta cut it right. So because in new ways you can't cut. All right then. Thanks, new ways. There we go. Cut it out. There. It's good now. I want this piece. There we go. That's a good sound file. Export, whatever, select the audio for what I, I want. Then you go find it in your libraries. Go to documents. There you have a Wewise project. There's Godzilla. And now you go to originals. You can also have voices for, you know, speaking. But who the fuck speaks in Risk of Rain? Exactly, no one, so it doesn't matter. There you go, you... No, not voices. You go to SFX. Then you call it, whatever, Roar1. Great, now you have a Roar in Wii And now I'm gonna, just gonna do the same for this one. I'm just gonna do it fast-paced. I don't know, what the fuck. I'm just gonna call it Roar2. There we go. Now I have two. Now I have two sound and Wewise. <coughs> now I don't need to save. I'm I'm big. I'm big brain. Now you can go here. Import audio files. Add files. SFX. There we go. Two files. It's gonna make two. It's big brain. It made two singers. Yeah, boy. I should have. I actually should have made this a mixer. Not a, not a folder. 
See, I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. I should have made this a... No, I should... Wait, my brain, my brain? All right, random container. That's what I need. So, you, so I wanna play the rewards randomly, one between each other. Be sure to set it correctly. We don't want this to happen. We don't want to always repeatedly go after each other. So you do this. You don't avoid repeating the last one, so you can always... You know? Bruh. There we go. And now, you go to positioning. Gonna override the parent on this one. This is how your sound, you leave the range of your sound. That's where you set it. Go to position. You set it to listener relative routing position. Attenuation, new. We call it raw attenuation. Or whatever you want, really. You go, go edit it. And this is your range. 100 meters, 100 meters. One map, like Titanic Plains, is about 350 meters. So you can like, go like that. So, like, 200 is fine? Probably. I'll just set that. This curve is fine. You can see it works. Now to use a sting on here. If you want to go hardcore, you can go cone attenuation, and the sound will sound differently. Or go quite a bit, but I don't need it. There we go. Now your sound is in 3D space. Amazing. And now... Here, this is where a conversion happens. Your file size, basically. You see? This is almost one megabyte. This one fucking raw is one megabyte. Fuck that. So we go here. Format. Vorbis is pretty good. You can go like 64 KB. 64 KB is almost lossless for some reason. I don't know, man. But it works. You convert it. You see this? It's one tenth. It's more than one tenth less. Great. Oh, you want to hear it? Here. This is the normal sound. This is not the normal sound. You click down here for original. Original is the original. Not original is not the original. Makes sense, right? Oh, you can also test the singer. See, it works. Amazing. This one too. Yeah. There we go. You have a fully functioning sound. Now you gotta make an event, right? So you go to events. Make a new event. Play. You just call it the roar or whatever. And then you take this because this is what plays the random things. And now you have an event. This is what plays inside your code. This is what you will hear. Pretty amazing, right? Don't put in this one, because then it will only play one of those. For a good rule of thumb, you want to have the sound at like minus one, zero dB, minus two maybe, depending on what you use it for. This is 1.2. This, this is a bit louder, but it's still fine. If you want to go really amazing, you can go here and make a bit of random pitch, like minus 100 and go up to 200, up to like 100 plus. Now it goes below 100 and plus, plus 100 each, deep, randomly. If you want to be crazy, you can go here. Yay. Fucking with pitch is always great. There we go. Now put just randomly a bit so it's not always as boring, you know? It's always a, a bit, just a, just a bit different. Just a tiny bit. Alright? There we go. And that's basically it. If you want to add more, you just make more. Make a new folder and call it whatever. Shot for my bullet. Or whatever. And then put in more. Import more sound files. Just gotta add more. That's basically it. Uh, no, that's, that's not it. You go here. We go to sound bank. You click this, you make it new. You call it uh, Godzilla. 
Now you have a sound bank here. You click this, yes, you want this on. And then, very important, you go here, event viewer, you, you drag it in. You can also drag it in like this. This also works. So you can like put in multiple if you want to. But yeah. <coughs> That's basically it. Now you generate all. You see? 1.7 megabytes they coded. That's the that's normal size and they, the data size is the new size, the converted size. It's pretty amazing, right? And now it's in your folder documents. Weavis. What the fuck is in here? There we go. Uh, the, the, where is it? There it is. Generated sound banks. Windows. You care about this and this. Nothing else matters. Everything else is fuck, fuck you, basically. And up in here, you see the IDs. This is what you use to play. This is the event ID. Or you can use this ring. Just roar. This also works to play. You can also set custom game parameters, RTCP. Like if you just want to have a charge sh shot, you do like charge and you zero to hundred, and then you can do like that. But you gotta set it in code. I don't know how to, how to do it. I'm not. I'm not a coder. I can only wee wise, wee wise. And that's basically it. You just you just load this in your DLL. Just put it in there. Put it in your DLL, and then you can use it. With the, with the event IDs or the event names, whatever. You can also see the event names here if you prefer to. Just gotta, gotta go to the another, another layout. There we go. ID is based upon the name. If it already exists in game, your game will explode. So maybe make it, you know, unique. <laughs> That's basically it, I think. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If not, I'll fuck myself. There we go. See you later, alligator.